I started off this week uh, looking for a means to carry my axe with me if I didn't want to carry a full pack. So I had I had big plans. I bought uh, I bought a couple of uh, um, uh, big uh, they were sides sides of beef hide is what they are. Um, they're a good uh, good size good size chunks of leather, and I was going to uh, make myself a canvas sheath and. And then attach the back side of it to uh, uh, a big piece of leather, and then uh, and then ha go and put my axes on the inside. But then I got um, I got a uh, email advertisement for a company that I'm subscribed to. Uh, it's called Sportsman's Guide. Um, some people don't like that. Uh, that name, but uh, they've done good by me. I'm, you know, they've never, never failed to deliver. Uh, everything that they've, uh, that they've sold is exactly as it's, uh, um, when it gets here, it's exactly as it's just described. So there's no su surprises, and uh, the prices are reasonable. So um, they were selling these uh, um, voodoo tactical most of the time I ignore anything with the word tactical in it uh, these are shotgun scabbards and these are supposed to attach to the back of uh, of your regular backpack with molly attachments and um, I was thinking well you know if it fits a shotgun it should fit a sheath. So I've had this in there. Um, I've had this in here a couple of times already. It um, it slides in. Slides in real good. The butt end of the handle. Uh, that should come in another few inches. Butt end of the handle comes down to about here. And uh, it does a really good job of covering this. This is the strap comes over the top. Um, it comes up, connects here. Um, this is a Maxpedition water bottle uh, carrier that I had. And I attached it. There's two sets of Molly attachments. I attached one side of it to the front there. And I had already... I'd already been using um, this, so it's got my water bottle in there, and it's got my cup on the bottom side of it. Um, and then that that even adds more Molly attachments. So you know, you could you could build this up about as far as you wanted to take it. This is a, a GI. Uh, one cup or uh, the one liter uh, water bottle inside with the molly pouch that would fit that fit there uh, cup would fit inside cup would fit inside that as one option or you could take the canteen out and um, and put your um, uh, your regular cook pot on the inside of that. This is a Maxpedition pouch. It would fit. It'd fit on top of there, and then you'd have room on the top of that to put more pouches there. Or you could take this and put it up. Put it up on. This fits on the front of. Uh, of the Maxpedition pouch and these would fit side by side right up in here this is the pouch this is a magazine pouch but this is what uh, I wear eyeglasses 
and um, I'm usually working around farm equipment with hydraulic hoses and um, hydraulic hoses break so I've got a, a uh, eyeglass cleaning kit in here uh, with some solvent and um, uh, and a clean towel so that uh, if I'm out in the middle of nowhere and um, I get sprayed with hydraulic fluid at least I'll be able to take my glasses off and get them clean so that's that pouch um, I've just got uh, I just got started with this I don't have uh, don't have a lot of it figured out uh, this is the strap that I made for the Maxpedition pouch um, and this is the shoulder strap that came with the um, this one came with the uh, uh, with the scabbard so um, the one that I had on the Maxpedition I've already it's got a um, it has a leather leather um, support to go over the shoulder uh, it's heavier I need to rework this end. I made this triangular piece so I need to solder another piece of brass across the top there. I fixed it for right now with with zip ties but um, yeah I'm starting the more I'm looking at this the more I'm starting to like it more. Um, the one part that I uh, that I did like was on the back side it comes with a 18 inch junk it's absolutely trash um, it's a metal shape that they call them a, a machete which I really didn't care about what I wanted was that was that uh, uh, was this sheath that's built into the back side of it because I can get me a I can get me a good Ontario Ontario or um, or even make me a machete that would fit in here but uh, for right now for right now that's uh, that's I'm starting to like this more and more the more I'm looking at it this is the front this is the front of the pouch it's got a d-ring down here that you can uh, you can hook one side of your carrying strap to or you can just go up here to the original um, use the top ring on the scabbard and then use the outside ring on on the Maxpedition so um, the carrying options are, are uh, they're pretty versatile um, this doesn't this really doesn't um, bother when you're carrying it because it tends to lean backwards into the outside so it's not in your way when you're walking and um, it's starting to look more and more like a good option so um, for somebody wanting to carry an axe or a hatchet with them this is a uh, um, this is a 20 22 inch handle on this one. This is a Husqvarna uh, Husqvarna, but that's made by uh, uh, Hultivars Brooks. It's almost a carbon copy to the uh, Husqvarna and the are not Husqvarna. It's almost a direct copy to the uh, Granfers Brooks and the Wetterlings. Wetterlings, however you want, whichever accent you want to use with it. This is the Condor Woodsman, but um, or it's the Condor Woodworking Axe is what I sh is what I sh how I should say it properly, and it's uh, it's a longer handled hatchet. It's made for uh, it's it's made for kindling work is what it's made for. It's not, um, and you can do some light, um, you can do some light uh, limbing and, uh, and chopping. 
but the handle the handle on this is um, it goes down about a little bit more than halfway full-size axe um, the scabbard isn't isn't long enough for a full-size axe but um, the the lemming lemming axe um, is is a pretty good fit for this the uh, hunting the hunting axe that they um, that Granfer's cells would fit in this perfectly just like just like this uh, um, Husqvarna so uh, it's an option and this was uh, the price point on this was uh, uh, twenty twenty one dollars heavy vinyl it's padded it's meant to hold a shotgun um, yeah I'm uh, I'd buy another one in fact I probably will buy another one